I need to get him out of my apartment. He's one of the most annoying people I know. He's so fresh off the boat. He's an embarrassment. The other day, we were at the supermarket, and he's walking around asking everyone where he can find llama call and coconut oil. I mean coconut aisle. No, he can't hear me. He's asleep. I can't meet. I have to work today. I gotta go. Love you. Bye. Eh, hey, who are you loving up so hunting? Just talking to my mom. I say, way boy, that sounds more like your girlfriend. Jimmy, what I tell you about talking like I was in here, eh? What did I tell you? You said don't do it. Mm -hmm. And if I do do it, then I don't get doubles for a week. Exactly. No doubles for you for a week. You cooking? It smells like curry in here. No, I'm not cooking. That's on a roommate, Sundar. New roommate? Don't let my dad find out you have someone else living here. He'll raise your rent. Where's Sundar? He's asleep. Don't talk too loud. I don't want him to have to wake up and hear his Blackbush voice. You really don't like him, huh? No, no, no. We love him. He's like family and we love him. Plus, not to mention, he's my cousin. Okay, alright. Now I finally have to explain. How's a fresh off the boat immigrant from Guyana? A cousin of a man who bleeds Trinidadian colors. <laughs> Way boy. That is a long story. Alright, here. You see, a long, long, long time ago, in a place far, far, far away, called Tobago, there was this man named Uncle who was my uncle. And this lady named Tanti, she was my Tanti. So my uncle and my Tanti meet up and they fall in love and thing. Next thing you know, Tanti get pregnant. Tanti run away to Guyana and leave Uncle. Uncle gets sad, Uncle goes to Trinidad to cut cane. Next thing you know, me and Sundar is cousins. That made absolutely no sense. But don't worry, I have something for you that'll make plenty sense and make we a lot of money. And what is that? One party, Bana. Listen, don't let me take away your curry duck for a month, okay? Sorry, panic. Anyway, like I was saying, a party. Where? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. No way. Come on, man, let me finish. Imagine woman dancing, whining all over the place, rum and liquor flowing, drinks everywhere. Yeah, drinks everywhere and getting spilled and on the floor and making it sticky and I'm gonna have to go on my knees and clean. No, but you ain't gonna have to clean it. Wait, now let me finish. Look, we gonna put the landlords on here in charge to be the party monitor. He gonna walk around and watch all them Indian and them and make sure nobody air drop nothing on the floor. What? When did we decide that? Listen, I know you have a thing for little West Indian girls. So if I was you and you want to keep lining with me, you will do exactly like I say. Now listen, Kev, this could be the answer to your problems. You, Sundar could meet a nice girl at this party and he could move out. Your problem solved. That is a tempting offer. Look, we could charge people to come in by the door and give them free drinks. We could make enough money to cover three months rent. You know what? Mm. I'll think about it. Mm -hmm. I have to go to work today. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later. On a Saturday? Yeah, man. Hey, have you seen my wallet? I can't seem to find it anywhere. Um. Uh, hey, I'll pick it up this morning by accident, you know? Oh, thanks. Mm. I'll see you guys later. Okay. And thanks for the credit card, Kev. Don't worry, we're gonna use it just to buy things for the party. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe you do that, boy. You see, that is why you're not allowed to speak West Indian. You just mix up Trinidadian and Guyanese in one sentence. There's no hope for you. I give up. Now go sit down on the couch. I'm gonna take a dump and then we go go buy the thing. Come on. Pick up your bottle and knock it with the spoon. Come on, everybody, let we chunk it with the tune. Bolawe, bolawe, honke, bolawe, la. Chuma, chumka, chumke,
Come up, Sundar. Okay, Sundar. Explain to me what happened. We wake up this morning and this ugly white man there waited for me. And then finally sent immigration. How do you know he was immigration? He white. Sundar, not all immigration officers are white. No, me chat your mom get catching the port and the immigration man was white. And then my poor daughter get catching the port and the immigration man was white too. And okay, then me... okay, I get the picture. I beg I forget married so making my paper. Sundar, I'm sorry, but this just sounds like a scheme to get us married. What kind of scheme you talk about, girl? Me only know about growth scheme. Sundar, you're a kind and gentle soul. But we're not meant for each other. But me love you. Sundar, why is your face always so oily? Me just put cocoa butter panam for take out all the black mark them. Sundar, please understand that I love you too, but only as a friend. But what happened, girl? I was supposed to get married and everything. How come you cheat on me? Like you want me to beat you or what? Sundar, our marriage was a business arrangement so that you can get your green card. And one day that I told you that I loved you as a friend, and you only heard the I love you part. And you went around telling all of your friends that we're in love and getting married. We haven't even slept in the same bed or even kissed. Me, Tata, we've been waiting for the wedding night for seal the deal. I can't keep doing this. I didn't want to hurt your feelings, so... I told you I was talking to my friend Gaitri. But I'm in love with someone else. But why you go look for another man when you have somebody that love you with your whole heart right here? Just give me one kiss and you see sparks go fly. Sundar, please. You have to move on. Well, what about the immigration man while I wait for me? I'm sure he's just some random white guy that Kevin and Panic know. How come you know I missed it? Oh, uh, Panic called and told me where you were so I wouldn't be too concerned. Me lucky me got a friend like them by that. Especially that Kevin by how you let me stay a place and thing. Yeah, Kevin's a great guy. Listen, Sundar, I have to do some errands, so... I guess you'll kick me out. I still love you. Sundar... No, listen. I love you bad, bad. Maybe one day you go love me like how me love you, but I just want you for no. I go always love you. Sundar, please. No. I talk my mind. I go see you later. Hi, thank you for calling Second Republic Mortgage Bank. My name is Kevin. How can I help you? Hey, Kevin, what's up, boy? Yeah, I'm gonna buy things for the party. What's your pin? Yeah, whatever. Go ahead. Just bring me the receipts and we'll split it later. No, that's no, okay. I already take your credit card for your wallet this morning. All right, thanks. You did what? Panic! 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 Well, hello there, Trebek. You're doing Sean Connery again from Saturday Night Live. I'm doing your mother. All right, that's enough. That's what she said. <laughs> you don't stop, huh? Always doing some kind of impersonation or quoting from some type of TV show? The ticker jabs. That one doesn't even relate to anything. Oh, I didn't know you were working today. No, oh, man, I just came in today, you know, trying to get paid, doing nothing. What are you still doing here? I just don't want to be in the house right now. Sundar moved in and he annoys me so much that I just don't want to be home anymore. Oh, Sundar, the immigrant. He took our jabs! You know, he's not even working right now because he doesn't even have his papers. Huh. Well, you could call up immigration and let have them get him out of there. No, I, I can't do that. He's... No, I, 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 I can't do that. He, he's been through a lot. Well, Trebek, do explain yourself. Well, he's arranged to marry this girl that I introduced him to, Nadia. But strictly as a business arrangement. But then she fell in love with another guy and canceled their, their arrangement. But now... He fell in love with her and thinks the marriage is going to be a real marriage. 
You want a toe? I can get you a toe. Why would I want a toe? What the hell are you talking about now? The dude abides, man. The dude abides. You know what? Go away. You're, you're not helping right now. That rug really ties the room together, man. You're weird. You know that? Yes, I know. Ah! I'll be back. I'm the governor. Ah! Ah! Hi, right, thank you for calling Second Republic Mortgage Bank. My name is Kevin. How can I help you? Hey, Kevin, here now, boy. This credit card is two thousand dollars. I swipe, boys. I thought all I could spend. No, that's not for each swipe. That's my credit limit. Oh, that's your limit. All right, we can only spend two thousand. All right, later. Uh, no, you can't spend two thousand. Panic! Panic! I swear, if you spend two thousand on my credit card, I will slap the trinity out of you. Oh, hi, honey. Oh, sorry. I, I thought you were panic. Are you okay? What, what's wrong? Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm leaving work right now. I'll be right there. Is everything okay? You look upset. When are you going to tell Sundar about us? You were supposed to have done it a week ago. I don't know. Well, what are you waiting on? He came by today telling me how much he loves me. What do you want me to do? He's my friend and he's heartbroken. How am I supposed to tell him that I'm the one that's with you? But him and I were never really together. I needed cash to pay for school and you introduced him to me and set the whole thing up. I don't love him. I love you. I know. We were friends at the moment. I didn't know we'd fall in love. If you don't tell him, I will. No, don't. I'll do it. I have to do it. Just give me more time. I can't put up with this much longer, Kevin. It seems like you care more about his feelings than mine. No, I don't. I just have to let him know on my own terms, okay? Okay? Okay. I'd have to go back to work now. I love you. I love you too. Good. The immigration man is there. Miss safe. Ah! I'm there home! Come inside, Jack, quick. Okay. I think I'm immigration. Then come look for me this morning. Oh. Well, no, it's just little old me. Um, is Panic home? Nah, he's not there home. Oh. Hey, may I ask you something? Sure, I guess. <laughs> you got one little thing for ye? What? One little thing. Little thing? What do you mean? Oh, I mean if you like ye. Oh. Well, yeah. I mean, I think he's adorable with his tiny little hands and his bald head. He's like a cute little baby. <laughs> Aha. Maybe no. Oh, do you know anything about me? You look at you like your little sister. Oh. But me no beauty when me see him. <laughs> so what do you think about me and you, eh? I got a small hand. I make her shave my head ball ball too. I, I think I hear my grandmother calling me. <laughs> I guess none of y'all don't like me.
Ah, I'm back, Kevin. I'm back. I didn't know you were having a New Year's Eve party. What are you talking about? Well, it's funny you should ask because I got this fly right here, and uh, it says New Year's Eve party hosted by Panic at Kevin's place. Let me see that. <laughs> 